is the uh time notes of the whole okay it's all time continue cool okay uh everyone my name is Dylan as I said um trying to give more talks and stuff so uh today's topic I don't I need more than 10 minutes but I'm gonna squeeze it in and so it's about image compression I'm sure generally the title speaks for itself so this is me, I've um, been working at Carousel for two years now. Uh, these, you can find me at all these uh, social medias. Okay, so why do we need image compression on the front end? So some people say, well, we already do image compression on the back end. Um, what happens if it gets larger? This will happen later, we'll uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, what if you're just lazy? Uh, but what Carousel is doing is that actually, um, if we lower, if we can compress it before we send it, then um, we can save our network costs because you don't need to send such huge images. And especially if someone uses a DSLR and then tries to upload it, it will be a very annoying. And anyways, we have some aspect we show uh, restrictions anyway, so we might as well do it. So this is how we do it at Carousel. So uh, first of all, very, very basic stuff, but I'm sure all of us are web developers. You just do the regular image thing, uh, the input tag, and then you do an on change. Uh, what you get is a file list which you can uh, turn to a data URL uh, with a few ways to do it, but I won't be covering that. Okay, cool. So what do I mean by some uh, size restrictions? So first of all, if a DSLR, we need a smaller knit. The, our limits are 1024 by 768, and we need this max and minimum aspect ratio thing. So this is 2 is to 3 and 3 is to 2 ratio. So you see the tall cat, you see the long dog, those should be center cropped. So we're just going to crop it, crop out the top, crop out the bottom, or crop out the left and right. So, uh, let's do an example. So let's say this, this image we have is a 2000 by 500 example. So uh, what we need to do is we need to downsize it to 1024 and we need to center crop it. Now one thing that I missed out on my first implementation is, does the order matter? Does it matter whether you do green and purple or purple and green? The answer is yes, it matters. Let's go through an example. So, uh, okay, of course the, the center crop will look something like this. So if you do downsize first and then you do center crop, what you get, you downsize it, uh, which means you sort of squeeze it down, it will, get two, uh, it will be 1024 by 256. And then you do the uh, limits, uh, and then you, oh, you check the aspect ratio. So you center crop it and it turns into this 384 by 256. But if you do the opposite, first you center crop, and then 750 by 500 is already within the limits. So you don't need to do anything. So the bad thing, so you should always do the right one, which is center crop, then downsize, instead of this, so that you don't over sort of shrink the image. So I, it's like super weird, but like another, uh, thankfully another engineer managed to catch this and we fixed it. So you know, good for peer review and stuff, uh, code review and stuff. Cool. So uh, what we're going to use to do downsizing, we're going to use Canvas. So uh, Canvas is uh, provided by the web APIs and stuff like this, and you can create this Canvas. And what it does is that um, you can target the source pixels. So if, uh, if you took a look at the image, the original pixels you need to send in the top left hand corner and then explain and then uh, should, uh, put up how much width and height you need and then you need the uh, target dimension stuff. So what we're going to do, first of all we need to get center crop the image. So we're gonna, uh, because I said this now we need to center crop first. So uh, we will, I, I'm only doing what happens if we center crop for such a too long image. For too tall it's just the opposite. So first of all, we get the aspect ratio. If the aspect ratio is more than the max aspect ratio, which is here is 2 is to 2, then it fails. So what we do is that we get the, uh, the width, which is 1.5 times the, the, the height of the image, which is the, the width of this purple rectangle. And then we get the starting point, which is the midpoint minus half of the width. And this is how you get it. It's actually, it's just math, but uh, I hope you understand. So this is how we set the crop it. Just, just use your math and area. It's quite self-explanatory. And finally, for downsizing dimensions, it's actually also quite simple. So what you do is that, uh, again, I'm only doing this for the horizontal uh, limit one. Uh, what you do is that you find which is more, is it too long or is it too tall? In this case, it's too long. So um, we make, the, we make the, the width 1024 and then with the height, we can adjust later. Cool. And then after that, once you get all those things, uh, you center crop it, you and you do the reduce the dimensions, you will actually get all the unknowns. Think of it as a physics equation. And then what you do is you do a canvas dot to data URL and you turn it into a JPEG. Uh, and, and then you're done. And then what you get actually is this uh, data colon image slash PNG. Oh, in this case, it will be a JPEG because we turn it into a JPEG. Base64 and the rest of it is IBBORW is the compressed image. 
and we will set this to the back end and in theory it will be smaller. So let's oh and um, when the back end wants it, it doesn't care about this uh, first part. It doesn't care about this first part. It only cares about the, the, the end string because it only cares about the bits. So you need to turn it back into a blob when you send it in and you just uh, it's actually you, you, you cut off the first part and then you uh, and then you sort of encode it back into a blob. Okay, uh, let's go through an example. So, cool, this is an example. Uh, I've done it in the code sandbox, we'll share it later. Let's take a very, very large image. So this is an image actually taken by DSLR. So it takes, a, it takes a while to load because it's actually doing a compression algorithm. Originally, it is a, this, this size, huge. So it's megabytes. And after compression, so I actually made a bug in the first one and I, and I um, didn't uh, put the correct target dimensions. And this is the, the new one after. And you can see that, well, just always ignore the middle image, but you can see that uh, this one is like 37, 37 megabytes. And this is 200, no, 0.2 megabytes. Yeah, 0.2 megabytes. So it's pretty good. Uh, and, 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 and we can do this. Um, and we can do this for long dog. Where's my long dog? Uh, long dog's over here. Cool. So the middle one, as I said, I actually cropped it wrongly. It doesn't center crop properly. So the, it should be center cropped to this one. You see, you cut properly. So I just wanted to show that um, the, the, the process of the, how we discovered how we um, discovered the error and fixed it. And the, in general, the proper cutting will also save more time. However, I wanted to bring up a problem. So the, uh, if your image is above the boundary, it will sh shrink and it will do image compression. However, if your image is actually already within the boundary, where's my, uh, here, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so, so the dimensions here is 458 by 354, and it's, uh, it's within the 3 to 2 aspect ratio, and it's within 1024 by 768. So what happens when we compress it? Originally it is uh, 28 kilobytes, and it actually becomes, 35 kilobytes actually uh, grows. The thing actually grows. And I wanted to cover that without showing the answer, so don't read. Okay, cool. Why does the image size increase? So this is sort of like, I guess, uh, if anybody can guess, somewhat interactive. You have about 30 seconds, about maybe 15 seconds to give a guess. Okay, the answer is actually, um, in JPEG and PNG, right, it's actually stored in binary. And in, uh, you shouldn't, uh, if we are good at computer organization, took your NUS module properly, you know that it, uh, every byte you will represent eight bits. Uh, however, when we turn it to data URL, we're actually using base64, if you saw the, the, uh, data, uh, the data URL just now. And um, you actually lose two bits of representation and more. So you lose about 37% of the thing. Um, and so, so essentially what it means is that there's this native compression juice of JPEG and PNG, and you actually lose it when you use this data compression. So is it worth it? Well, I think that um, we need the, the I mean, 37% larger, is, 37 larger is, um, is not small, but it actually, we need to do uh, the, the cutting for aspect ratio and we need to shrink it anyway. So we're going to do it anyway. And I think overall, it's probably a win. Uh, but it's actually very interesting to note. So one thing we can do is we can check whether it compressed. If it did compress, we use our compressed one. If it didn't compress, we actually use the original one. And actually, so this is, this is still what Carousel uses to compress our images. And um, I hope that we all learn something from image compression on JavaScript. Ooh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can blabber on for some time. I have a, I have a hidden slide. For all subsequent speakers, the rule for this game is minus 5 seconds. <laughs> uh, so if you like that, huh, you must start dancing or do something performative. Mm. Now it's 7 month ghost festival, so like, take a hit. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>